Hello, my name is Pastor Sean Pinder, and this is my lovely wife, Pastor Amy Pinder. God has placed a burden in our hearts to establish a church in the local DFW area, a church that loves people and demonstrates the power of the living God. My husband and I both have over 25 years of experience. We both have college degrees. We served as senior pastors, assistant pastors, youth pastors, children's pastors, and evangelists. We have served the United States and countries around the world, holding miracle healing crusades. Many souls have been saved as a result of God's saving and healing power. In the book of Habakkuk, the Bible says, write the vision and make it plain that he who reads it may run with it. You know, when we first moved to the Dallas, Texas area in 2009, we were ready to run ahead and go ahead and establish a church. And we began to put things into place and God had to literally slow me down. My personality is when God speaks, why wait? Let's get the thing done. But the Holy Spirit had to slow me down. And God gave me this scripture right here from the book of Proverbs, chapter 24, verse 27. This is what it says. Prepare thy work without and make it fit for thyself in the field and afterwards build your house. I had to ponder that scripture, what it really meant, what God was speaking to me at that time. I didn't really know how to go about it, but thank God for a wife who loves God. It's full of the Holy Spirit and knows the voice of God. So God placed it in, in Pastor Amy's heart that we should go on social media and really focus on social media and figure it out. And we went on social media in 2010. We began to labor. I spent sleepless hours, countless sleepless hours, up studying, trying to figure out how to make it work. And thank God, in 2018, yes, you heard me right, in 2018, eight years later, we got a massive breakthrough on social media. At the beginning of 2018, we started out with 20,000 subscribers. And by the end of 2018, we had over, we had over 165,000 subscribers. Fast forward to today, now we have over 391,000 subscribers on YouTube alone and almost 140,000 followers on Facebook. That's over half a million people. And so now I have a much clearer understanding of why God told me to prepare my work in the field first and then build a house because God wanted people to become familiar with who we are were. He wanted them to become familiar with the anointing that he had placed on our lives and our ministry. He wanted to give people the opportunity through social media to test the anointing that was on our life, to test the word of God that we were preaching. And since we have been on social media, thousands have been healed delivered and set free by the power of God. In 2021 alone, over 1,331 people have been healed. Cancers, people who are going blind, loss of vision, totally healed by the power of God. Broken legs, I mean the, the, the testimonies goes on and on and on. And I'm telling you, over a thousand people committed their life to the Lord Jesus Christ. So since we have been on social media and got that great breakthrough in 2018, almost every year, over a thousand people have come to the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know about you, but I feel the fire of the Holy Ghost burning in our soul to establish a local church, a place where we can call home. Miracle healing Santa Church. The Holy Spirit is really dealing with my husband to plant this church. God said that when he puts his name on a place and his presence is in that place, that you can come to that church and expect and believe God to get a breakthrough in every area of your life.
So when all trouble is breaking loose, you have a place where you can go and cry to God for help and know that he will hear and help you and that you will get answers by being in his presence. And we wanna create such a church for you, for you to have a place to come to, to feel the presence of God, to see his power demonstrated so that your faith can be in God's power and not the wisdom of man. I wanna read something to you in the book of First Chronicles chapter 28, verse 19 through 21. These are other scriptures that God gave me, confirming, establishing him, a local church in DFW. All this said David, the Lord made me understand in writing by his hand upon me, even all the works of this pattern. And David said to Solomon, his son, be strong and of a good courage and do it. Fear not, nor be dismayed. For the Lord God, even my God, will be with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee, until thou hast finished all the work for the service of the house of the Lord. And this is a good scripture coming up. Verse 21. And behold the causes of the priests and Levites. Even they shall be with thee for all the service of the house of God. And there shall be with thee for all manner of workmanship, every willing, skillful man for any manner of service. Also, the princes and all the people will be holy at thy commandment. Exodus chapter 25, verse 8 and 9. Let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them according to all that I show thee after the pattern of the tabernacle and the pattern of all the instruments thereof, even so shall you make it. So we know that there are many great churches in the DFW area, but God has called us to establish another church. Glory to God. God even gave me a vision about this church. Lord have mercy. He gave me a clear vision, a church that had 25,000 people attending a single service. It may not happen overnight, but the God I serve, he is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should have to repent. If he said it, he'll make it good. If he spoke it, he will bring the thing to pass. So I want to throw the doors open to every one of you who feel the Holy Spirit bearing witness in your heart. And we are talking to people who are currently without a church home, who are currently, who currently do not have a place to call home, who currently are without a pastor. I wanna say this to you. If you feel that connection with Pastor Sean and Pastor Amy, we want you to fill that card out that you are interested in the local church that we are about to establish. We are looking to launch in the month of May 2023, Miracle Healing Center Church. I just want to pray with you right now. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, me and Pastor Amy, we join our faith and we join our hearts with those who are listening and watching this video, those who feel a connection, we pray that the anointing of the Holy Ghost would bear witness with their spirits. Show them, God, if they are supposed to be a part of this local church, if they are supposed to be a part of this local body that you have called us to raise up in the Dallas, Texas area. Father God, touch them. Speak to them. You said in your word, my sheep know my voice and a stranger they will not follow but will flee from him your word says God those who are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God your word says the Holy Spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God speak to their hearts God give them a confirmation that's undeniable that this is your will for their lives at this stage in their walk with you 
and we say to God be the glory. Great things he has done, great things he is doing, and great things he will continue to do in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. God bless you and thank you for listening to what Pastor Sean and Pastor Amy had to say to you on what we are about to do concerning God's will and his next step for his will in our lives and your lives. We are looking forward with great anticipation to you joining up with the local church we are about to establish. God bless you.